Oh yeah, he took it too. He spotted him, gave himself away, and we got him. Oh. <laughs> Good fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish. Well, see, you know, once we start seeing them again, <laughs> yep. we start catching them again. But you have to see them. You know, the odd one you're going to pull out without seeing them, but that one there, that was just perfect. He gave himself away, and we picked him off. What do you got on now? I had the, my same merging caddis. Okay. I think he just got to put it right in their nose. You know, that guy put it right in front of his nose, and, uh, and he took it. A lot of lead time, just laid it down in front of him. You have control of him? I'm going to anchor up. Yeah, you bet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's going a little crazy. Nice fish. Nice, healthy fish. Oh, oh yeah. He's... Nice. Oh. Nice bow. Oh, can't beat oh, rainbows. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Big aerials, eh? Oh, man. That is just the best. And he was. You could tell he's taking caddis, like a lot of them, the pale morning duns have been coming off the PMDs and, and a lot of the caddis. But that guy, good splash your rises. Not the sipping you usually get with the PMDs. That was a good splash your rise. A lot of smaller fish rising. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Beautiful. What a lively fish. Yeah. Great fish. Well, we're getting this guy in. What do you, uh, what's the recommended setup? What's an ideal setup for fishing down here? I know I've got a five weight rod here. What would you advise? I'd advise about a five weight, nine foot for dries, and then a oh, yeah. 10 foot, six weight for nymphs. Because we have some really big stone oh, flies in here. Perfect. Oh. I'll let you do the honors. That's a nice little bow. All right, huh? Yeah. Nice, healthy fish. So you're saying a five, five weight rod for the dries? About a six, ten foot for the nymphs. For the nymphing? And then uh, if you're going to be throwing big streamers, it's anywhere from a six to a seven. Okay. Excellent. So the ideal setup, if you're ever coming to the Henry's Fork here, five weight again for the dries, and five to six weight for the nymphing. Oh, he's oh, still gee, hot. He is still hot. Yeah. Come on, guy. I think it just came out, didn't it? Yeah, yeah you bet. It flies out. Okay, there it is. All right. There he goes. All right. Decent. Thanks again. That was excellent. Nice fish. Oh, he hammered it. So you switched it up? I switched it up. As soon as we got to the fast water, everybody in the boat, <laughs> somebody's yes. got to go with a woolly bugger. So I decided to put the woolly bugger on. I have the sink tip line on, one of my favorite little rigs. And the guy hit it. I mean, that was just the perfect hole. Fish into the bank, casting in, letting the bugger sink down nice and deep into the pocket, oh, and he got off. And you catch nice fish like that, though. Right on, that was a good fish. So, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be more to come. I know Ooh, it. That was a nice change fish. change or not? Yeah, I, to change I or I not. I'd give it a try. you give it a try? I'd give it a try. Okay, we'll switch. All right. Nice. Oh, and nice. it's a nice one. Nice. nice fish, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at him go. All right. Right on. Oh, we picked a good spot to anchor up here. Yeah, you do that. Oh, that's nice. Well, I don't know here. Yeah, he took a good first run. Well, he sure screamed towards the shore pretty good. <laughs> he wanted out of there quick, yeah. Well, no one on the bug. Uh, a productive way to fish. It is. Because yeah. it's shut down, it's gotten really hot, it's really sunny, and the dry fly is done for right now, so yeah. why not switch it up? And you get it all here. Like, why not come down, do some dry fly early on? When it warms up in the day, change it up. Whatever you want to catch fish, nymph, bugger fishing is a great way to go. And then later on night, 
Do yeah. it again and get the dries out again. Right on. You get it all. It's just excellent. I want to see that fish. When he went to shore, he was screaming line. He was moving pretty good, He's wasn't he? Oh, he looks pretty good. <laughs> you bet. So tell me about this bugger that I've got on here. This is your own. Is it black or brown? This is the brown one. Yeah, this little brown, it's a little tungsten head. Uh, it's a grizzly hackle with just a little bit of flash in the tail. Really simple design, but really effective. That uh, tungsten head really jigs it when you pause it, jigs it up and down. Yeah. It makes it look like a dead minnow. What you did there, you saw a fish rise near a log that's right behind us here, and you, you actually anchored us up. So all I was doing was letting it cast it in, letting it swing down and across. And it was on the swing down and across that I picked it up. So I got my dry line on. I've got a five foot sinking extension off of it. So it's getting it down fairways. That tungsten really helps. Yeah, I like the I like the motion that it gets that tungsten head on. Whoa, man! This is a nice. Fish. This is a good fish. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> Got to get a good look at this guy. I can just see him under there. Of course, he's holding in a pretty good current too, so that's that's helping him. Try bringing your rod down in the water and lead him up. You right really, in? you got to really crank it. Really crank it. Really crank it. There you go. Oh, just right don't up. lose him. Yeah, the faster water. Okay, yeah, you don't want him to take off here and watch the rod go and pick somebody off. <laughs> Way up and down there There he is. Come on, Bella. All right. That is a beautiful <laughs> rainbow. Beauty is right. Oh, man. Oh, my arm is sore. <laughs> that was a lot of pressure. Look how fat he is. Yeah, the barbless hooks. Let me just take that. Got the whole thing. Okay. Good deal. Oh. Measure him out. Tom the Cooper. Yeah, my, it's going to be tough to get him there, isn't it? Yeah, that, he's that current. Look how fat he is. Those, we've seen so many stones coming off, but they just, they've gorged themselves on stones. They're just not ready to eat anymore on them. Time to get back to some normal feeding. That is one obese fish. What a great place to come and fish, Tim. This has been uh, been a lot of fun so far today. I think we're gonna get a little bit dry fly later on. What do you think? Stick up. Get some more dry fly later on. A little bit later on, yeah. but let's stick with the buggers. You betcha, right on, man. Thanks a lot. All right. Excellent. We should get a close up of this guy because that's that's your little special the bugger. There it is. That's the bugger that did the job. But you know what we need to do? Take a break and we'll be right back with some more Henry's Fork Fishing. <laughs>